Right, well, I'm joined by Gus, uh, Agustin Gossio, I think that's the correct pronunciation. Yeah, I think, I think it's, it is. In, in Spanish, it should be Agustin. Agustin. Here is Agustin, but I think Gus is much easier, so... Much easier for all yeah. of us. Well, Gus, you really are very welcome to us at London Scottish, and of course, you've been here a few weeks now. Uh, when you first joined, great hot weather, now not so hot. Now, is that what they promised you when you signed on? Well, they told me that weather shouldn't be so good, but the first month was really good. So a lot of sun, and they told me don't get used to so too much to to the sun in London. So well, now I understand why they told me. That. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, you came from New Zealand. I mean, literally, you stepped off the plane from the World Cup. Just going back to that World Cup experience, what was that like for you? Well, yes, it was an incredible experience. Um, I joined. I joined to the squad. Uh, in July, I think, so I, I didn't be with them too much time in the process of the four years. So for me it was a, a new experience, but I really enjoyed it a lot. I knew the guys really much, so because I have played with them, most of them. Uh, and well, I didn't play too much, but I was only uh, able to play like 10 minutes against Georgia, but it was a great moment for me, really important. So you scored a fantastic <laughs> try. Yeah, you were yeah. too modest to say, but you, you <laughs> blistered through the defence and scored a great try against Georgia. Yeah, yeah, I was lucky with the with the kick of one. <laughs> no, but now, yeah, it was a, a great experience just to be part of the squad and on what represents uh, to be in an Argentine team or in a national team. It's great, and well, uh, if you are in the in the fields more time, it's better. But it was great for me. Fantastic to be yeah. part of that experience. Yeah, yeah, of Tell us a bit about for people who don't know you, your, your you know, your history, the clubs you've played for, and so on. Yeah, okay. I have always played for my club in Argentina. That's called Club uh, Newman. Uh, in Argentina, we have only amateur clubs, um, uh, so the structure of Argentina is really different. Only amateurs. Uh, it's like, it's rugby is a hobby. We. We are interested to too much, we focus too much, we train a lot, but uh, as a hobby. So we have our studies or, or works uh, together. But well, two years ago, the, the union uh, of Argentine rugby uh, began to make a semi structured prof uh, yeah, professional league. Uh, well, they, they picked up like 30, 40 players from playing in Argentina, paying them for training and traveling to represent the national team. So well, I was part of that. So last two years, I have been mostly playing with my national team, uh, twice in South Africa for long tournaments and traveling a lot. So played really, really little, little for my club, and well, and this so this is my first experience abroad, and uh, I'm really happy. And you know, the opportunity to come to London Scottish. Did you know much about London Scottish before you joined the club? Not really. Uh, well, when I first talked to Simon Amor. Uh, well, I began to put in Google uh, London Scottish and well, had a great website so I could find some history of, of it. And so, well, uh, but I didn't know too much. Then I talked to some people that uh, know more, maybe more about history of rugby and uh, they knew some people in Argentina because there is a team called Buenos Aires in cricket and rugby, I think, or in cricket and football that has the same color of, of London Scottish blue uh, shirt and uh, the lion, the red lion. We also in Newman has a, have a red lion. Sorry. I don't know, sorry, a lion it is yellow, but not red. But so this club, uh, they told me that uh, they, well, when they found it, they, they took the, the London Scottish as, yeah, so it, it was a... It was a perfect fit, yeah, yeah. it was an obvious so, uh, fit. That, that's the place I have to go, I said. <laughs> so now that you've been here for a while, and you've got to know your teammates, and of course you've, uh, You've joined here with Alfie, not Freddie, as I said in my last interview with David Dunbar, so apologies to, uh, to Alfie for that. And how are you finding it, the banter, you know, the chat that goes on? And I guess it's the same the world over, just a different language. Yeah, of course, it was really easy to settle down here because, well, the, the club and the people, the players are really friendly here. Uh, so for me, uh, of course, you miss your country, your club, but uh, these things makes make much easier because uh, I, I really feel comfortable here. So yes, yeah, the players are funny. We, well, we, we train hard, but we also bother. So uh, I feel like he, like he, we, among friends. So I'm really happy. All, of course, being with Alfie, not Freddie, uh, yeah. <laughs> was was uh, really easy for me because just he helped me to settle down more quick. Uh, 
with help me with some because he's been here for a while. Yeah, he's been Irish. Yeah, so yeah. London Irish for three years, I think. So uh, he helped me a lot. And well, now I'm living here one month and and one week, I think. But uh, the first week I I felt really comfortable. So Great. I think that's p part of what I that the, the club is. He's really friendly and has treated me well. And the supporters as well. I mean, they they welcomed you with open arms, as we would say. Yeah, they? yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate the well, all the supporters of the club. They they always come to to watch us and they have to support. Well, not too much victories in the season, but but trying to 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 improve. Now, there's a great weight of expectation on you every time you get the ball. I know, sitting in the stand, people that are excited. Do you do you feel that as a pressure or? A, does it not affect you? Just like, love to getting the ball and, and running with it. Well, yeah, I try. I, I didn't feel it, but I tried. I don't, I, I don't try to think too much. Uh, maybe pressure. Sounds like one of the forwards now. They don't think too much. Do they? I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> maybe if it's a pressure, it should be something good. Uh, um, so well, uh, it makes me try uh, to do it harder. And well, I know that I have to do my best. And probably I'm trying. Maybe. Sometimes things go well, sometimes sometimes not. But uh, well, hope to to have good games in the next in the next ones. And of course, you and Alfie had the dream home debut, both scoring a try in the uh, in the first game at home there. So that must have been special for you, wasn't it? Yeah, of course, it was special. Uh, yeah, it was nice, of course, uh, to help the team. Uh, uh, but uh, and luckily we had a, a, a bad loss against Bedford. That were a great game. Uh, but well, well now it, it was be it's better when you score and you win, no? <laughs> of course, of course. And uh, have you managed to find any of the uh, Argentinian restaurants while you've been here? Yet? Missing the food from home, you know? Yeah, yeah. I have a friend that works here, and he he took me to El Gaucho, Gaucho in Chelsea. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we had a great meal, and mm. it, it makes it easier so as not to miss too much our <laughs> six. <laughs> Absolutely. And just one thing: when you were studying back at home, when you were playing rugby as well, or were you working? Well, I, I'm a lawyer and okay. I have been working four years in a law firm. Well, I uh, have graduated, so I uh, have been studying and working, playing rugby, So, but not too much training up to when I was like 25 years old. Then two years ago I began to, to take it more, more seriously. And well, the last year I have uh, uh, left my job so as to to take it more seriously and well to prepare for rugby and World Cup and everything. Well listen, I know that everyone here and connected with the club is delighted that you've joined us and we just look forward to seeing you through this and hope you're staying injury free and uh, see you running down that wing and scoring. I know you played full back last weekend, didn't you? How did yeah, that, yeah. just very quickly, well, how did that feel? No, well I, I love the position. Uh, I, I didn't play in the last four years as full back but I know the position well. I have played in my club and maybe in some national team. Uh, it's similar. It has some similar things to the wing position, uh, not the same, of course. But I found it uh, really good, and well, it's good to maybe uh, try to play the different positions to know more the game and improve as player. Brilliant. Well, Gus, thank you very much. Enjoy your season, and uh, I hope the weather gets a bit warmer for you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.